Good morning, people. How are you doing? It is Friday the 13th of January 2023. Ooh, woke up this morning hearing these weird rumblings outside. Bo was standing over me, was sitting over me, uh, looking down at me saying some shit's going on outside, Scott. You should be aware of this. Uh, really we weird weather this morning. I go out to feed the cats at uh, the outside cats at five o'clock, and they both try to get in the house. They don't want to do that. Um, just really weird, like area lightning, heat lightning, and orange sky, and then the rain comes in. <sighs> Friday the thirteenth. There you go. Uh, two videos today. We're gonna do uh, this morning. It's seven a.m. right now. The first one's gonna deal with Joe Biden's. Um, uh, trove of, of classified documents discovered in his garage and other places in his house from his days as vice president. And uh, how people are missing the point on this. Uh, Tucker Carlson came out yesterday talking about this as if the whole purpose was to keep him from running for office again in 2024. <laughs> they had the information that he had this stuff uh, prior to Four days prior to, apparently, four days prior to uh, uh, the uh, midterm elections, but they didn't want to damage the Democratic Party. So they, of course, keep the news from you that might be influential. So that's just par for the course now. That's what we are. This is all par for the course. This is, this is all par for the course. <laughs> and this shit ties back to fucking Hillary Clinton. This shit ties back to her goddamn... Uh, private server and her laptop and all the data and all the files that she just the 33,000 files that she just 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 ran off with rather than turn them into be part of the public record when she leaves office she gets away with it that's see this is the problem this is this called accountability if there is no accountability uh, for one person then that sets the precedent going forward now um Dr. Carlson says this was all done to keep him from running again in 2024. I think it's probably more than that. And that's going to tie into my second video this morning. Dealing with the global expansion of NATO, of Japan, not only uh, taking on an, uh, uh, in, in Contradiction to what the Constitution said for a long time. And several years ago, they changed the Constitution. I, I, I wrote, reported on that when it happened so that they could take on a more war-ready, uh, offensive Department of Defense kind of thing. Start fucking gearing up for war again. Japan, the people of Japan wanted no part of that after what happened, obviously, if World War II. <laughs> Two fucking atomic bombs going off in two different cities and of course fire bombing for 60 cities for 30 days uh, might tend to put people off the concept of you know we should be spending all our money on fucking military weapons however that's changing um, and I don't I, I get whenever you look at things like this whenever I look at things like this I can't not look at the atmosphere the environment in which the uh, the news story breaks, news story happens. And so yes, trying to keep Biden from running for office again in 2024 is something. Um, however, keep this in mind. When Trump won in 2016, to the surprise of many, um, they had to keep him on ice. They had to keep something, uh, some kind of fucking uh, sword of Damocles hanging over his fucking head the whole time. And they did that. They did that with the Russia investigation. And then once that petered out and there was nothing to that and that dog wouldn't hunt anymore and they couldn't keep that going after two years, then it was the investigation into his, uh, uh, into his family. So with the threat always being, you go too far, you don't do what we want. You don't bring in Operation Warp Speed. You don't push these goddamn vaccines. You don't do what we, whatever whatever the case may be, you don't do what we want. Well, we, we might not be able to get you because you're a seated president, and that's something that we can't do. 
However, we can go after your family. We can go after your business interests. So <laughs> something like that happening now with Joe Biden at this particular time with the expansion of NATO into the European Union, with bringing Japan in, trying to expand NATO all the way over to fucking uh, Asia. <laughs> Might be something worth looking at, and we'll talk about that further in the next video. Let me show you something I pulled up. Let me just make sure, first of all, we are recording, because I don't know this damn thing anymore. Yep, there we go. Let's talk about some of this stuff, shall we? Here's the news. Emails suggest Hunter Biden had access to the garage where President kept his top secret fucking files that he had run off with after serving as vice president. Um, Hunter Biden. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing Hunter Biden didn't have is the keys of that goddamn Corvette. Because he would have sold that shit for a fitty rocker crack a long time ago. <laughs> um, here's the stories. You see them. You know the fucking stories. <laughs> you guys got to remember. Let's go back. People make it, are making the connection between um, what happened with and, at Mar Largo and those files. And what's happening with these? Say what you will about um, Donald Trump and Joe Biden, based on whatever your political agenda is or opinion beliefs are. The reality is they work in the same fucking system and they serve the same fucking masters. And they believe that they are entitled to do the same fucking things. And sometimes when there are certain regulations, as is the Hillary Clinton proved to us, those regulations can be ignored. Those laws can be ignored. Those constitutional mandates can be ignored. If they're doing, if they're in service to the greater good, quote unquote. And we know the greater good involves the national interest, and our national interests involve BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, Halliburton, all these things. <laughs> Hillary Clinton's laptop proved us one thing. You can be blatantly fucking criminal in your behavior. You can hide 33,000 documents that prove your blatant criminality, and probably would have you prosecuted and put in jail forever, certainly end your political career. And you can get away with it by just removing them. This is what Biden did. Clearly, he was taking documents from his tenure as vice president, some probably having to do with Ukraine and other places, um, that he didn't want to be made part of the public record. So when he left office, he just took them with him, thinking like, you know, well, Hillary Clinton gets gets away with this shit, so so should I. The thing with Trump is a little different, and I covered this. Again, you have to take into consideration what was happening at the time. Trump was involved in a new lawsuit that he had just several months before filed against Hillary Clinton and the FBI over what they did to him in 2016, spying on him, spying on his presidential candidacy, trying to fucking frame him for, as Russian collusion. He was going to file a lawsuit. He had filed a lawsuit seeking damages, but most importantly, that lawsuit would have brought out information into the public sphere that certain people and actors didn't want. Okay, Tucker Carlson last night mentioned this, but he didn't talk about what I just said. He talked about the fact that, oh, well, T Donald Trump just had some files, and he said, hey, I got some files, and then in comes the FBI. Trump's out of office. All of a sudden, remember, I covered all of this. I covered all of this. Here's part of the lawsuit, and it was tossed out after the fucking raid on the lack of evidence by a judge. I covered this. 
Hillary, uh, redacted Mar-a-Lago affidavit shows FBI after Pfizer documents in lawsuit against Clinton and FBI. They wanted the Pfizer documents. He had them. Remember what they told you they collected. They went in there and they got all this stuff and they had 36 empty folders. Oh, look at the folders. They're empty. Oh, well, just empty. But we took them anyway. Why would you take an empty folder? When you're going through all the fucking documents at the place to say, okay, we got a fucking bar napkin with a drawing on it, a doodle on it. We'll take that. Oh, we'll just take this empty folder. All 36 of them. No. That was the Pfizer documents. And once the FBI went in there and snatched those up so he couldn't use them in his court case against Hillary, the judge then said, where's the documents? You said you had documents. What could Trump say? Uh, the FBI snatched them. No, they didn't snatch them. They just got these empty folders. So you got no proof? Okay, case dismissed. And that was it. You have to look at what's going on at the time these things happen. The environment in which these things take place. That's the big difference between fucking what happened with Biden and what happened with Trump. In both cases... <coughs> In both cases, Biden's fucking, Hillary's, all three cases, in Hillary's fucking 33,000 emails, in Joe Biden's goddamn documents from when he was a vice president, and, of course, what they went and confiscated at Mar-a-Lago, they're all about protecting the DNC, protecting the fucking establishment, and in the case of the Mar-a-Lago stuff, not only that, but also protecting the FBI for what they did back in 2016, for their criminality. Outrageous criminality. And it was so obvious. It's so fucking obvious. And I'm the only one's covered it. That I know of. I'm the only one's fucking covered the fact. That this is what they were doing. When they raided Marlago. They were protecting the FBI. The FBI was literally being fucking sued. And so the FBI breaks into his fucking place in Marlago, Takes the goddamn evidence. So it can't go to fucking court. And then, of course, the judge is ready on, right, right on. I mean, days after. Where's the evidence? Pre present the evidence. Well, we, we don't have it anymore, sir. Okay, or ma'am. Okay, well, case dismissed. And the FBI laughs all the way back to the fucking offices. All the way back to the Hoover building. This is rampant criminality. And I mean rampant criminality. <laughs> Listen, again, this is about less about, well, the DNC is, the RNC, the DNC, let's not get, let's not get it twisted. Uh, it wasn't the DNC that was in charge in, in September 11th, 2001. It wasn't, Donald Rumsfeld doesn't represent the DNC. It wasn't the DNC that, uh, that, that, that Dick Cheney was working for when he said, uh, we're going to have to walk down the dark side for a little while for this long war, this hundred-year war. The project for the new American century does not consist of DNC members. If you think for one second, again, this is a partisan fucking dis debate, you're sadly mistaken. This is about power and maintaining power. To that end... What's his face back in fucking office? Back in back in Congress now? That's all well and good. I kind of liked him. I, I, I forget his fucking name, but now he's going to be doing some kind of new church committee thing. Yeah. <laughs> and what gets me is these people are all, all these people say, you can't do this. That's, that's going to undermine our system and the belief in, and people's belief in our system. People saying that since the church committee, Everything's been fine. We got it fixed. The church committee got it fixed. Was it Brennan? Was it Brennan who came out and said to fucking Congress when he was asked about that when they were investigating back in fucking the, the, the Obama days and said, we've never spied on fucking members of Congress. Turns out he had to come out there later and say, yeah, we spied on members of fucking Congress. <laughs> they're out of control. They're out of control. 
and it is a it's 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 like a fucking free for all. It's like a free for all, you know. <clears throat> what they're doing in Congress is like what these uh, flash mobs do uh, in a Walgreens and fucking Walgreens and fucking San Francisco. <clears throat> <clears throat> Because there's no accountability. People can get away with literally anything. But 33,000 goddamn emails and files on a laptop uh, that came from a private server that she deliberately set up, Hillary Clinton, so that she could do exactly what she did. Which, again, was against the law. Um, They think they can get away with anything. Now... Whether or not this is about convincing Biden, he's got to go along with the plan. Even though the plan right now uh, looks like it's setting up for another goddamn World War I. That's quite literally the fucking plan. And we are siding with, we are the new Axis powers. Because we are siding with Germany and fucking Japan. And we, are, we have convinced Japan to buy weapons, to buy tanks, to buy guns, to, to actually build an aggressive fucking Department of Defense. First time since the Axis powers existed. All we need is a fucking Mussolini and we'll be set. That's all we need. And I don't know who's in charge and, and how, how Italy's going right now, but it ain't good. So the second video is going to deal with that. And I just wanted to get this out there and to remind you guys, if you go to my website and if you look up, uh, what is it, uh, FBI, you'll find this stuff you can look at. Uh, and these videos still up. Uh, talking about this. This article is here. Rampant criminality at the FBI. Yes, the FBI from 2013. Robert Mueller, uh, FBI Director Robert Mueller's domestic terrorist, just committed an act of terrorism in Congress again, 2013. Uh, how they fucking shot this dude in the fucking head. This, that's the FBI, and this is more on the election rigging uh, that took place in 2016. Just plain stupid, the Russia Trump hookers golden shower blackmail story that came from January the 11th, 2017. That was after the uh, dossier, the Steele dossier bullshit. Um, There's a bunch of stuff here. If you look up election 2016, you can find that. My writing on that, videos on that. If you look up FBI, you can find that. Uh, Okay. And for those of you who are more into my stupid video games. (laughs) Well, I was processing. I was processing some videos for I keep looking up there I was processing some videos from Raft almost done with that thing anyway there you go uh, happy Friday the 13th I hope you have an enjoyable one and I will be on the other video in a moment okay thank you for your time talk to you later bye bye